This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Let me join by Olympic gold medalist Lauren Price. Lauren, big day for you. Obviously, you've signed a deal with Boxer and Sky Sports. Just seen you doing your promo walkout and stuff there. You must be absolutely delighted to finally get it announced and out there in the public. Yeah, I am. I'm delighted to announce it. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming. Tokyo now feels like a lifetime ago. But um, like I said, I'm delighted to, to sign with, with Boxer. I think Ben, you know, he's pushing women's boxing and there's no better platform than, you know, to be on Sky Sports. So I'm really looking forward to it and really excited. That's what I was going to ask you about. You know, you had so many options coming out of the Olympics. I saw you and Karis on the zone, for example. I think you're at Fight Camp uh, speaking to the media there. Why was it Sky Sports and Boxer in the end? What stood out? Um, it just made sense, really, um, for us. I think, obviously, over the last um, few months, especially, you know, the shows and that as well, and to see how, how, how Ben have progressed and come on. And um, like I said, Sky Sports, is, there's no bigger platform. So, yeah, there was a no brainer, really. You haven't been on Boxing Social since you brought home gold. I wanted to ask you about that homecoming. I saw all those people, the pictures of all those people out coming for you, and then at the end of all those people in that homecoming, your grandma there waiting for you to come home as well. Tell me about that moment. Oh, do you know what? Um, I'd been away, obviously, for about six weeks, and uh, I had no idea. I just remember pulling up the street. I live in a little village called Ashram Manak, and as you know, Welsh people are crazy. They uh, get behind their own, and yeah, the street, the village, it was full of you know little kids and that, and... Um, yeah, it was just great to come home, show, show my medal and like I said, yeah, to, to bring that home to my nan who's, who's always been there and supported me. Um, it's been a dream of mine since I was eight years of age so to go and bring back that gold medal. It was, yeah, it was insane to come back and, and show, show her and, and show everyone. At what point did it sink in what you'd done? You know, you, we've seen you win gold medals in the past, but to do it at the Olympics and set yourself up for what I'm sure were these very exciting pro offers you had. At what point did it kind of hit you at, at what you'd achieved? Um, yeah, it took a while to be honest. I come back and... I t obviously took a bit of time off and we we were like got, getting invited to you know GQ awards we were with like Ed Sheeran and Stormzy and just it was just mad really just kind of living 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 the life and um, yeah it, it's obviously it's, it's sunk in now it feel, feels like a long time ago but I'm just I suppose it's just set me up you know f for life now obviously I've worked hard um, I've medalled at every major tournament uh, won gold so yeah winning that Olympic Olympic gold medal was, was a dream come true and I'm really excited now to you know have a new dream, have a new goal and that's to become a uh, professional world champion. With yourself and Karis, you medalled together, you came back and I'm sure I read somewhere that you got a house sorted together. Are you running out of room on that mantelpiece already? Do you know what, we bought the house before the Olympics and we've been that busy, you know, training, we haven't moved in yet. It's, we've ripped it all out so, we, so we're just getting it all done. But um, yeah, I'm sure we'll have uh, plenty of room and if not, we'll have to upgrade into a bigger house. We'll see how many belts end up coming back, but Lauren, look, in terms of going forward, um, you've said you're going to come down to welterweight, obviously am amateur, you took that middleweight slot, that way you just feel the most comfortable going ahead? Do you know what, um, I was always um, small for middleweight anyway, uh, at the time, um, going back, uh, 75 was in and then it was only 60 and 75, I could never make 60, so 75 was the way and I kind of obviously had to use my speed and, and my feet and stuff like that. Um, but now, obviously, I can come down and wait. I'm, I'm, I'm around about 67 right now, so yeah, um, going down to welterweight, and uh, I'm really looking forward to you know just keeping them speed and my feet and that, but adding new things to my game as well, like standing there and throwing a, throwing a bit more, and yeah, just really looking forward to it. Ben Shalom told me a couple of minutes ago he was confident that if he threw you in for a world title tomorrow, you'd win one. That said, how fast do you want to move? Yeah, I don't want to, you know, move move too fast. I just want to make sure that each fight um, I'm improving each time, stepping up as well in levels and stuff like that. But um, for me, it's just like different things. Like when when you're boxing, you know, going to a world championship or something like that, you haven't got the crowd. So it's just getting used to things like that and obviously not wearing an head guard, smaller gloves. So, yeah, I suppose after a few fights and that, just, you know, just stepping up each time. All right, Lauren, thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social and good luck with the pro journey. Thanks.